Hi there, in this very brief tutorial we will look at exporting as an STL file type. So we have our finished model and it's ready for 3D printing and manufacture. And we just need to export it as an STL file. This is the file type that is read by most 3D printers. And we're going to export this in two parts, the head and the shank and bridge, so that we can more easily polish it at the bench. So first of all I want to hide my gemstones and I'm just toggling off the the layers that they're assigned to. If you don't have them assigned to layers you can just blank out the stones. So let's just change the color of the head so we can see what we're doing. Okay so, so to export an STL file we come into file export. Okay we make sure that our save as type is set to STL file. Give it a name channel set let's do the head first. Click save and that's going to open up an STL file generation window. And there's a couple of things to be aware of in here. The first thing is the chord height tessellation tolerance. This value influences the resolution of the STL file that is output. I like to keep it at around 1 1000th. 1, this gives me plenty of resolution and also keeps the file size manageable. The next thing is to um, select our head shapes. Okay, if we were to select OK right now, then it's going to export everything in this window as a single STL file. We don't want that. We want to specify only the head shapes. So we come into the filter tab, select the uh, select from screen option, pick objects, and you can pick your objects one by one, or if you have many that you need to select, you can always do and attribute filter, we're picking the red shapes only, and then window pick. Okay, and that's selected, press OK, and that will export onto, in my case, the desktop. So we need to do the same again for the shank, file, export, STL file type, channel set, shank, save, and we can filter again, select objects from screen, pick objects, and it's just the shank and the bridge there. Okay, so that is how we export our STL files.